So as you do when you start watching YouTube and watching other YouTubers using tools that you don't know about, you become interested in the tools they're using. And for me, one thing I became really interested in and I really wanted was a track saw. Never used a track saw before, never seen one until I started watching people use them on YouTube. And although I've got a table saw, I just wanted one. So I didn't know what to go for, so I thought I'd go for an entry level saw. And back in November of 2018 last year, I bought the WorkZone track saw. Shortly after I bought that one, Evolution contacted me just before Christmas and offered me this one to trial for a review at the end of the trial process. Obviously I said yes, so I thought today we compare the two saws and see if either of them are worth the money that they actually cost. So with the Aldi work zone you get the saw, a non-removable once fitted extraction connection, two lengths of 700mm track and just the one track joining bar. With the Evolution you get the saw, a cutting guide fence, a removable extraction connection and this very nice handy storage bag. So let's start by looking at the saw that I purchased first which is the Aldi work zone. It cost me £79.99 back last November of 2018 when it was on one of the special buys. It comes with a 1200 watt motor, a 3 year warranty, a 3 metre long power cable, it weighs 5.1 kilograms. It comes with a 160mm 24 tooth 2.4mm Kurth blade fitted as standard and also has a riving knife. It doesn't have any sort of soft start or blade break features on it. It has an adjustable depth stop of 55mm and the saw can also be tilted to the side but due to the anti-tip clip that is fitted it won't tip off the track whilst being used. Unfortunately the track is not compatible with other saws like Festool, Makita, Evolution etc. So next if we look at the Evolution R185CC SX Plus, which is a bit of a mouthful to pronounce to be honest. It costs $89.99, it comes with a 1600 watt motor, again it comes with a 3 year warranty and this one comes with a 4 meter long power cable which is always handy. It weighs 5.2 kilograms and comes fitted with a 185mm 20 tooth 1.7mm Kurth blade. It does however have an electric blade brake fitted to it which stops the blade much quicker. Another safety feature is this LED light fitted to the front of the saw. An allen key can also be stored neatly in the handle and it also has an adjustable depth of cut to 60mm and a 45 degree bevel facility. The cutting guide fits in the front of the saw and can be used as a circular saw also if needed. Leaving quite a neat cut. The saw and the tracks are also compatible with many other brands out on the market. Now with the Evolution saw, at least with the R185CC SX Plus that I have, it doesn't actually come with any track. So I had to buy this track separately and that cost me £45. Included in that is two track clamps, this quite nice padded carry bag and two lengths of 700mm track. Also that comes with the track was something I was quite surprised with. It comes with these two supports for the guide rails which is really good because it means you can lock the track in straight and parallel to one another which is a problem I had with the Aldi saw only coming with one of these locking guides. Right so I guess the next thing to do is to compare the cut. I'm going to use this piece of 18mm um, birch ply and we're just going to cut down the side and see the quality of the cuts from the two saws.
So when you look at the cuts, there isn't really any difference between them. These are though some of the best cuts I've had from the Audi saw since I've owned it. And on large cuts, I have found the finish to be a lot rougher than what these are. I did also try the saws out on a rough bit of pallet wood. Again, not a great deal of difference between the two saws. However, the wayside cut from the Aldi saw is probably the worst of the two. Where the evolution saw has an extra advantage is with the multi-material blade. It will also cut through wood with nails in it no problem at all. And it still leaves quite a nice finish to the wood. Now after my first use of the Aldi work zone track saw, there was three problems I didn't like about it. The first one was the angle gauge. I couldn't actually adjust it to 90 degrees. It wouldn't even, it wasn't the fact that it would go past 90 degrees, it wouldn't go up to 90 degrees. So I had spent some time fettling things and adjusting things and then I could get it to 90 degrees, but that probably took me an hour to do. Another problem I didn't like about it is the dust extraction. For a start this thing's not very good, it's a little bit flimsy and nothing I have actually fits over the top of it on this dust extraction connector. And it quotes as extracting up to 90% of sawdust. Well I think they should change that to be honest because it should be doesn't extract up to 90% of sawdust. It was rubbish. And the third problem was with the track only coming with one joining rail. This allows the track to twist and with the other track having no pressure on it as you're using the saw it sits proudly causing the saw to hit it. So with the Evolution after my first use of it I was reasonably satisfied with it although again the dust collection on it isn't as great as it could be but I wasn't as disappointed as I was with the work zone because as I've mentioned previously, this isn't a bespoke track saw. It has an open front, so you're not going to get the dust collection that you would on the Aldi saw. The other thing is as well, just here it actually blows the dust away so you can see where you're going. The problem with that is I think it's a little bit too powerful and the sawdust that's created out of the front, it actually spreads it like confetti over everything. So to sum this video up then, which track saw would I actually buy if I was in the market again for an entry level track saw? Well, the answer is neither of them. I've since seen and heard of the Aldi work zone being reduced down to £19.99, for which is an excellent price. And if you wanted to do some upgrades to the saw that would cost £20, £30, £40 pound maybe, it's still a worthwhile investment. The Evolution. Although I think it's the better saw overall, especially with some of the safety features it has on it. And definitely the, the track on the Evolution is much better. I personally would go for the model below this one, which is the CCSX. And that actually comes with three lengths of 340mm track. And I think it is actually only £10 dearer than what that saw cost altogether. The extra features on this one, such as the LED light, the extra long cable, they're great features, but I don't think they quite warrant the extra cost in investment that, that this one costs from the start. So yeah, I would buy either, but I would certainly look at the lower spec Evolution one. I'm going to leave links in the description box below to the saws that I've got and the lower spec version of this also to the Evolution track. So that's it for this week's video. Hope you found this interesting. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, by all means, give me a thumbs down. Drop me a comment in the comment box below. Let me know what you think of, of these saws. Let other people know of your experiences. 
Think about subscribing and I'll see you again next week.